सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम यू टू इन आर चैनल सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू इंस्टॉल फिडोरा थर्टी वन ऑन माई लैपटॉप दिस इज अ एच पी लैपटॉप एंड आई जस्ट डाउनलोडेड फ्रॉम द फिडोरा ऑफिशियल साइट दैट इज गेट फिडोरा डॉट ऑर्ग सो फ्रॉम हेयर यू कैन डाउनलोड द फिडोरा मीडिया राइटर एज वेल दिस दिस इज फॉर which is highlighted this is for window and this is for mac this is a 20 mb software this will help you to create a bootable usb drive so it's a very easy and straight forward process i'm not going to sh show you this but in this page in official page you can find the details so the pen drive capacity is 2 gb and the image the fedora 31 image is uh, roughly 1.8 gb so i did the steps now i now i am going to install the operating system so i am just going to shut down this machine currently this is very old operating system so f pressing f2 put me in the diagnostic uh, i want to are you sure yes press f9 for the boot device option so usb so so first option is the start fedora and second one is the test with the media and so i'm not going to test because test take 10 to 15 minute are directly going to install so just click on the start fedora so this is try fedora option the cd1 uh, this give you a interface where you can you know uh, take a look and feel how it's look like but i directly go with the install to the hard drive choose the language english and the united state continue so keyboard is us system installation destination automatic partition selected but here is uh, some It's a two fifty GB hard drive, so I'm gonna pick this. 
again it's saying so what I'll do I'll this ok automatic storage configuration now done let's see your currently Fedora system required okay reclaim space delete delete all yeah I delete all the previous operating system and the file now it's okay it's showing installation doesn't automatically detect Daytime time is a Asia Kolkata as I'm living in India so go with the installation process
so installation is showing finish finish installation click on finish installation it's nothing else so let me do one thing let me open terminal switch to the root user take shut down power off remove the pen drive no start laptop again So this is welcome screen next. I have the Wi-Fi and LAN. So system right now connected with the LAN. So I will skip this part. Privacy you can set or connect to the online. No, I don't want to connect at the moment. So here is recommend to create a first user as well. So I'm going to type my full name and username will be Raman Kumar but I'll remove the Kumar only Raman K I'll go with the Raman K. So next set the password. It's a weak password but not an issue at the moment. I'll proceed. So that's it guy. This is a very pretty straightforward method to install the Fedora on your laptop if you can see this is a 31 partition detail it's a like this one for home it's assigned 157 GB boot with the prox 1 GB and rest for the Fedora localhost live root for the root directory. And, uh, the pre default is a boxes calendar camera. This is cheese. Yeah. Clock contact scanner. Browser which browser come with uh, for about for this is sixty-nine. So let me show you as well the installation of Google Chrome.
but it's not prompt for root password anyhow I'll So yum install chrome is a not a right command mean uh, package name chrome is a not a valid option uh, google hyphen chrome hyphen stable is the right option so you can use uh, dnf is the latest command of the yum or you can use yum as well it's not an issue but recommend go with the latest command that is dnf wow it say no match for argument google chrome or stable so i think we need to in, we need to install the fedora repository so dnf install fedora workstation repositories hit enter so it's installing the okay repository install now try to install the google chrome Wow, again, anyhow, run the DNF update to ensure your system is fully updated with the latest RPM of the Fedora 31. So it's saying it's a 911 MB, approx 1 GB. So just take, take a couple of minutes. Anyhow, uh, this video dedicated to the installation of Fedora 31 on the laptop. So Hope you guys learned. It's a very simple and straightforward process. And you can give it a try. Uh, make sure you take the backup before do any sort of R&D or installation. So you never lost your data. So guys, stay connected with us for more technical videos as well. Thank you for watching.